and we're doing whole 30 this month yes so we're here a lot no sugar no sugar no sugar no grains no sugar no been do a little check-in this morning we are doing a whole 30 as a family so if you don't know what whole 30 is it's basically an elimination diet weight loss is not the focus which I love weight loss is definitely a byproduct of eating this way but it's not just the goal and today is day four officially um, I was just feeling so crappy I was feeling so puffy and bloated and my digestion was a wreck um and i just i couldn't take it anymore thankfully brian and tarquin decided to join in uh, to make my life easier which it really is making my life easier because we have no foods that are not whole 30 compliant in our camper in our in our spear you know so Anyway, I'm feeling really great. I'm feeling um, super motivated and excited to see how everybody does for the 30 days. But we thought that we would just share this part of our journey with you as well because it's you know, a huge part of life, food, right? <laughs> so the first like three, probably the first two months, I would say, we did a lot of um, comfort eating and really just whatever, we just, we were just like living our best life. Um, but at a point you realize like, oh, hey, you know, this actually 
isn't serving me. Here right now we're at Peace River RV Park and Campground in Wachula, Florida. And as you can hear, we're fairly close to the highway. This is one of those deals where it's just like right off the highway. And it's definitely the biggest, most intense RV park we've been to. So um, we pulled in and it was very intense. I mean, there are just a sheer number of people in RVs. I was energetically just completely overwhelmed. And we just, we just couldn't find a spot. Like there was just people everywhere. It was, it was, Oh, so stressful. You know, it was a really rough first day, um, but I noticed that even as stressed as I was, I am so much better at staying calm now than I think I've been in a really long time. And I was thinking this morning as I was going for a run and, oh my gosh, there's the most interesting bird. Oh my gosh, I think it's a woodpecker. red. It's like Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> Isn't that what he does? <laughs> okay, um, I'll dog rest. But as I was walking through this morning, and you know, you it's impossible to not just look at everybody's rig and like just what they drive and their, what, it's just, it's all of it. Just the dynamics, like are they a family with young kids? Oh, there he goes. Are they like a family with young kids? Are they you know, elderly, are they like our age, you know, like what's the deal? And uh, I just thought, I don't think I could ever go back to regular life. Like I love being close to nature, even if this isn't my ideal. Um, this is the best part about Peace River. Without the river and this little trail, it would be, 100% not for me, but there is some nature here and um trip to Walmart. Walmart. <laughs> Previous to this, we never utilized the Walmarts, but 
that seems to be what's available almost everywhere we go. So we've been using yeah. Walmart and we're doing Whole30 this month. Yes. So we're here a lot. No sugar. No sugar. No sugar. No grains. No sugar. No dairy. No grains. No processed foods. We're a weekend. We are great. weekend. We're, yeah. doing, we're kicking ex butt. I've done it before, but I'm extremely proud of Brian and Tarquin. Tarquin said this is the longest she's gone without sugar. Like, she literally can't. No sugar, yeah. no energy drinks for last week. Yep. I've been doing really well. The last two days have kind of been a struggle. Mm -hmm. I think I might have overdone it with the prune juice <laughs> one day. We've been having some fun with some yeah. recipes, making mm -hmm. some interesting stuff, just trying to vary it up a little bit. It's too easy to eat junk food and just process stuff and easy stuff. Yeah. And so you just grab it, you know, and it's with a smaller living space, it's harder for us to cook large portions so mm -hmm. that we have enough for meal right. prep and leftovers. Um, that's one of the things we've struggled with. I mean, mm -hmm. we have an oven, we have a toaster oven and an air fryer but it's they're small you can only make certain portion sizes in there it's not like having a yeah. full oven at home where i could have two racks full of stuff cooking but like we have an air fryer that's an air fryer it's a toaster, toaster oven. oven we can bake in it we can roast in it it's got one other setting that toast. i can't even remember yeah <laughs> we can toast in it we can bake in it we could toast in it we could roast in it we could toast in it Listen here, we just could air summer. fry in it we could toast in it too sum it up i think we got a device that does a lot of different things does a lot of different things <laughs> and includes toasting includes definitely toasting and our slow cooker is kind of the same way it does rice it does soup it does rice it does We're steamed not vegetables rice right it now, does it does so rice. We're mostly using it for chicken well you just shredded chicken and i'm glad slow we brought that easy. And I'm glad we brought the food processor because that was good use last night and we actually broke out the little ninja the yeah, a little smoothie, individual smoothie, smoothie, smoothie maker. Yeah, we brought that. We just brought the one cup and it's been perfect. So we just did one of our favorite activities. In the Walmart! World. Woo! Cra cracking up, we got prune juice for this recipe. That we didn't even like. I thought we liked it. I wasn't. Oh. And then Brian's like, well, maybe I'll like prune juice and I'll just drink some. And I'm like, be careful. I only had the one glass of it. <laughs> and it's a weird, it's a weird consistency. Yeah, I don't, I'm not a fan. I'll tell you what, it's Keep it no on joke <laughs> colon blow. <laughs> with chia, chia pudding. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's make chia pudding with prune juice. That'll really give you cold. <laughs> Shit off that Hot Wheel I ate in third grade. <laughs> there you go. I don't know why I was dumb enough to eat a Hot Wheel in third grade, but. <laughs> the marbles you stuck up your nose. Right. Your... So anyway, that's the long and the short of it. Long and the short of it. That's a lot. Whoa. Whoa. That's the breaking the neck. With... Oh, I was doing that's extreme close-ups. That's the long and the short of it. We're with Arlene. Extreme close-ups with Arlene. They can't handle that sexiness. <laughs> So we're gonna head back to the campsite and unload the car and <clears throat> excuse you, we're gonna get better about remembering to bring our reusable bags. Because yes. I'm getting tired of forgetting. Hiccups have returned. And the hiccups <clears throat> have returned. <clears throat> 